Welcome back. Carmel has a reputation for cracking down on speeders, but you may be surprised at one of the newest locations for their radar guns. Yeah, our own Mary Milson is live near Range Line Road to explain what some traffic cops are tracking now. Mary? Well, that's right. Going 15 miles an hour certainly doesn't seem like speeding, but it is if you're on a bike on the Monon in the heart of Carmel. Chances are you've seen the sign outside the Children's Museum that keeps tabs on your speed. But the Monon Trail? Yep, this summer they've been using a sign in Carmel that shows how fast cyclists are going. So that's more of a, uh, an awareness type instrument we use to make people aware of what their speeds are. And the speed from 111th to 136th Street is 15 miles an hour and has been for several years. But more people are using the Monon, and the city has heard from more people concerned about how fast cyclists are going, especially during peak hours. Scott Spillman is one of the officers who routinely patrols the Monon and uses his radar gun to track speeds. Hi there. Hi. 10 mile an hour, 10. Keeping good pace. We were with him mid-afternoon, a very slow time. Nine. He and others aren't issuing tickets, but they have given warnings. We've stopped uh, quite a few people on the Monon for disregarding stop signs and, and also speeding, but the speeding typically has been one or two miles an hour over the speed limit. Hi there. She slowed down. Bickle says the bigger concern involves intersections. Making sure people are stopping for the stop signs and, and making sure we don't have anyone colliding with the vehicle. The people we talk to say they're glad to see the emphasis on trail safety. When I'm here at the market, I appreciate that they have signs up about it just because there's a lot of kids around and it's really congested and if you don't slow down, people can get hurt. I think it's good that they're enforcing laws on the moment, honestly. It's good. And again, Bickle says the idea here is not to punish cyclists or others, but to simply educate them. And that includes dog owners as well. One of the rules of the Monon is you can't have a dog leash longer than six feet. That's to keep people from tripping over those retractable leashes. Scott and Andrea. All right, our viewers have been warned. Mary Mills and Carmel, thanks. Now, 